Hello foam friends, Gerard Shifting Lens and today I'm, I want to talk with you about cutting. And well, as you can see, I'm already preparing cutting shapes or no, cutting sheets using the Proxon machine. But that's not what I want to show you today in this video. Yes, we will cut, but we will not cut with the Proxon itself. We will cut with hobby knives. Cut a few sheets. Let's uh, show you what I mean. Whenever I start a project, it always starts with cutting sheets or cutting blocks, cutting specific shapes, uh, mesh them, glue them, get them together, make the structure uh, in a way that I like, um, but then uh, the real work starts. So all the basic shapes are cut using the Proxon, uh, but then the finer work mostly will be done using uh, smaller knives. Um, I have a few here and just an example. I hear a, I hear a lot about people using exacto knives and an exacto knife is perfect. Um, but there is a but. Uh, anyway, um, let me just show you. This is my favorite little uh, knife it is a kind of surgery knife and the thing about this knife it's apart from that it's razor sharp is it is extremely pointy and if i put it on the table it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't roll away i see a lot of people have using hobby knives where the angle is very different as you can see steep not so steep or these kinds of knives. Now I use these all the time but depending on the cut I am using this one or this one. So let me show you what I mean and let me explain why this is such a great knife for me. And by the way this is a no-name knife. I mean just a simple knife that you can buy online and these are separate and you can buy them in a package so uh, so there is no uh, advertising there are no links but it's a knife that looks more or less like this okay off we go so here i have uh, a sheet and i want to transform this sheet into a wall piece um, this means that I want to cut a few openings in it, like a door and a window. Very basic, very simple. So I take a pencil and I have a door frame over here. And I trace the door frame. So now I can cut out the door. I even have a door here. So if I cut it right, it should fit right in there. Now, if you say, hey, ho, this is cool. This is a template. Uh, so I need a template. No, you don't. Because with a good sharp pencil like this, you could also trace the door. Now, make sure your pencil is very, very sharp. So the line is very close to the door. The thicker, the thicker the, the pencil is, the, the, blunt, the more blunt it is, uh, the less sharp the line will be, of course. So here we have the two openings. Now, let's see. I use my scalpel knife. And this is the way I like to cut. Now, I show you the way how I do it and then it's up to you to decide if this is the way to go for, for you. And if you say, this Dutch guy is totally crazy, um, 
I can imagine because I am, but uh, I have another option, which is safer. Okay, so what will I do? I will cut in the air. I will not cut on the table. If I cut like this, I never go fully through the foam, which means that some parts will not be cut. And if I try to pull it out, it will tear and it looks awful from this side. Need nice sharp lines so the knife has to go all the way through. Now I can start at the beginning, but in this case I start somewhere on this straight line. Few things. I go to that camera. Now you see that my knife is perfectly in an angle, a 90 degree angle. So that's what I want. If my knife should be like this, I exaggerate, or like this, I get a wall that goes inwards or it goes outwards. Looks very cool in some cases, but in this case I want to have a nice clean 90 degree angle. Now the cutting surface, if you look, the cutting surface is here. Now it's 90, pointing straight down. So my whole knife is a little bit aligned to the rear, you could say. So if I cut, whoops, sorry, do it again. So if I cut, then this is the way to go. Finally, let's start cutting. There we go. So as you can see, I'm cutting in the air. And if you look from this side, you see firstly that the knife is visible at all times. I will not pull the knife all the way back into the foam because if I push it out again, the rear might tear. And as you can see, I cut not in, but between my fingers. So here we have the first door. This is the door. And if I'm not mistaken, it should fit. So let's try this. Yes, it does. That's nice. Uh, I can do it again and I will try and make a mistake. Um, just to give you a few tips. So I go in and I cut again. Now this is, this, these lines are traced not using the, using the door as a template. So I will try and stay on the inside of this shape. And here I will try and make a mistake. So here I will go a little bit away from the line and then go back to the line. Oh, that's a nice mistake. So here we have a door. This door should fit. Now it does fit, but as you can see, I've made this mistake here. I went too far to the inside. Now the most common solution is that I will try and correct this using my scalpel knife. But if I make, if I fail this cut, meaning that I will go over the line, then uh, I ruined this shape. A safer way to fix this is using a round something, let's, so a round thing, it could be a pencil, could be a pen, um, whatever. And now I'm going to, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to massage the foam. So here we go. And as you can see, I'm pressing And I believe I'm already there. Sorry. Okay, that looks nice. So the whole bump is almost gone. <clears throat> Sorry. And there you have it. The door fits in and this is hardly visible anymore. Uh, if there are any irregularities, use a little nail file or whatever. So cutting <coughs> with uh, um, uh, knives uh, rather than cutting with a proxen is essential for your builds. 
this is it far, fairly impossible to cut out using your Proxon. You need to go freehand or you need a template. And since it's a hot wire, um, you cannot work as precise as we've done just so. Um, a final thing, or a final thing, another nice thing. I have a window here and I don't have a template for this window. So I will try and do this again because I want to explain something to you still. So it looks awful, I know. So here we have this little window. Now, at the start of this video, I talked about using this knife rather than a knife that looks like this, the angle. And the reason for this is actually very simple. I start cutting out this window. Now, if I have a shape with a uh, round that goes round or that, uh, like Roman arches or Gothic arches, um, now this is actually qu uh, quite still a large uh, half circle, but if I want to cut uh, smaller ones, or even this one, the sharper, or the, le the sh sharper this point is, the more easy I can make my curve. Here we have a window. I did this with my scalpel knife, and this window should fit in. If it's not perfectly, if it's not perfect, if it doesn't fit, use a pencil, massage the edges so it fits. Well, another option if you want to cut out windows is the following. I have two sheets and I want to cut a window out of this sheet. Now, I don't do it in the air between my fingers, but I will do it onto another sheet. There is a window drawn onto this sheet as you can see, and now I want to cut it out. Instead of holding it in the air, I can now put it on the table. The knife goes in, and you can see it's all the way through because the sheet underneath is also attached to the knife. And I go at maybe a lower pace, but I go up and down slightly, but with every movement, the knife will stick through the first sheet meaning that you get a nice clean cut on the other side of the sheet, on the rear side of the sheet, as long as the knife is all the way through this sheet of foam. So we'll finish it. And that's just so you can see, now it's on my hand and I can even cut it like this, knowing that the knife will not, will not go so deep that it will touch my hand. But just to make clear how this technique works. So instead of cutting in the air, put the sh two sheets on the table, cut through the top sheet, and I think that should work just fine as well. Let's see how the cut is. I think, oh. I think it's quite nice. So that's another option. <clears throat> if you don't like cutting in the air, try and cut using this double sheet technique. So a scalpel knife for me is essential. I hope it all makes sense. And I think this is a good start for the next video, which will also, in which I will also be using my scalpel knife quite a lot because I want to show you how to work in layers. So, um, hope to see you then. Uh, thanks for watching and keep on crafting.